I'm Ann Messerschmidt, the Environmental Resources Specialist with the City of Lakeville, here today with another Nature Connections. And joining me today is Kurt Kudron with the Dakota County Soil and Water Conservation District. Kurt, do you want to tell us a little bit about what we're doing out here today? Sure. Well, today we're just uh, we're installing a rain garden. So this is a, a resident who went through our Blue Thumb program. Uh, they went to the classes this winter, an introductory course and a design course. And so we've designed a, a rain garden specifically for their property. So today we're going to go through the installation process and uh, document it and have it as an example installation. Well, kind of our general process for putting in a rain garden is to first of all obviously look at where the water's coming from so we can get it to the rain garden. So we went through the design and um, basically placed it so that we had easy access from the downspout uh, to send the water down into the rain garden. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use the dry creek bed. Uh, with that layout, we also look at the, the, the soil balance, so making sure that we have enough soil to dig the depression and also to build a berm. So we try to balance that out so we don't have to move too much soil off-site or on-site. After the shape's laid out, we come through with a sod cutter, remove all the sod off the surface, and then we use a tiller to loosen up the soils. And with that, we uh, basically loosen them and then rake soils as we go onto the berm. So we remove the soils, so we have a, a depression, and then a kind of a, a ridge or an uh, elevated area that holds the water back. Uh, use a line level and basically pull it across from a fixed point. That allows us to make sure that we're at the correct elevation anywhere in the rain garden. Uh, after we're pretty close in the elevation, then we add compost um, and we really mix, make sure that we mix that in well. So we use the tiller to, to mix it and incorporate it into that, uh, that whole layer of the underlying soils. Once we have final grading done, uh, then we, we work on the edging. So placing that edging, typically we'll use a, a plastic edging. It really helps to keep the grass from encroaching and, and kind of keeps it a little bit neater, gives it a nice formal edge to it. Um, after the edging is in, uh, it's shredded hardwood mulch, place that down uh, about three inches thick throughout the rain garden, and then add our plants, and that pretty much wraps it up. So Kurt, it looks like we have a variety of native plants as well as some cultivars. Do you want to tell us a little bit about these? Right, well we picked a, a good selection of cultivars that have good showy colors as well as a lot of natives that will attract a lot of the butterflies and birds. Um, so we've got some blazing star, some joe pie weed, uh, marsh milkweed, so a lot of stuff that's going to bring in a lot of wildlife. And all these plants are, are deep rooted plants so they'll help the water soak in the, and once they get a root system developed they'll let that water soak in even faster. If any residents are interested in installing a similar project we will have the Blue Thumb program again next year so we'll have the introductory class as well as the design class so you can sit down and design one for your own property. Uh, feel free to contact us at 651-480-7777.